Today we're going to be doing Unit 3, Lesson 8, Solving Equations Using Division on pages 76 and 77. Let's do some review. We've been talking about inverse operation and as a way to cancel out specific numbers. So the opposite of addition is subtraction. The opposite of subtraction is addition. If you need to cancel out a number, get rid of it, and it's being added, you're going to subtract it, and if you're going to be, if it's being subtracted, likewise you're going to add. The opposite of division today is what? It's multiplication, and the opposite of multiplication is division. So these guys go hand in hand, and let's take a look at what I mean by this. Here we have an example of multiplication. On the left side, we have what we refer to as the coefficient, and on the right side, we have the variable. So these are being multiplied. So 4k means 4 times k. So if k was, for example, 3, it would be 12. So what do we need to do? We need to solve for x. The very first thing that we need to do is make sure we get x by itself. So we know that 4x means 4 times x, and the opposite of times or multiplication is division. So what we're going to do is divide both sides by 4 because we need to get x by itself. And when we divide both sides by 4, these cancel out. So all we're left with on the left side is then x. And on the right side, we have negative 16 divided by 4. And that's going to give us negative 4. This is our answer. And if we um, substituted in the negative 4 for the x, let's see if that's correct. So I'm going to substitute in negative 4 equals negative 16. Yeah, 4 times negative 4 equals negative 16. This is our answer. We check the solution. Wonderful. Here we have negative y equals 12. We need to get the y by itself, and here it's a negative y. So to get rid of that negative y, we know that if there's a variable without a number or coefficient, we can pop in that invisible one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1 because that is the inverse operation. So negative 1 divided by negative 1 is just 1, and these cancel out. So all we're left with is 1y, or just y, equals negative 12. So that is our answer, and if we pop in negative 12, so if it's y equals 12, if it's negative times a negative 12 equals 12, yep, a negative times a negative is a positive, so this checks out, this is our answer, and y equals negative 12 is our solution. So we always need to get the variable by itself. Here we have negative 5 times b. And the opposite of times or multiplication is division. So let's divide both sides by negative 5. And when we do that, negative 5 divided by negative 5 cancels out. So all that we're left with is b. And negative 20 divided by negative 5 is 4. And that's our answer. That's our solution. But let's check just to make sure that's correct. So I'm going to rewrite this equation. Negative 20 equals negative 5, open parentheses, and I'm going to pop. Here we have a variable with an invisible coefficient. So I see it says negative n equals negative 30, or we know we can pop in that sort of invisible one. So this is negative 1 times n, and let's divide both sides by negative 1. And when we do that, the negative 1s cancel out, so all that we're left with is, is the n, and negative 30 divided by negative 1 is 30. The negatives cancel out, n equals 30. Here we have 0 equals 8y or 8 times y. We need to get the y by itself, so let's divide both sides by 8. And when we do that, always the 8s cancel out, so all that we're left with is y. And 8 divided by 0, I'm sorry, 0 divided by 8 is 0. And let's check to see if that's our actual solution. So I'm going to rewrite this equation. 8 equals, I'm sorry, 0 equals 8 times, and I'll pop in our solution. 8 equals 8 times 0. Yeah, any number times 0 is 0. So this is our answer. Nice. So we're going to be turning to page 77. You guys are going to work with your partner or individually on numbers 1 through 18. And then we're going to do cooperative learning with uh, another member for numbers 
19, and 21. Let's take a look at number one. And then after that, as a class, we're going to do a few of these problems together. So I can see it says 3x equals 21. We always need to get the variable by itself, right? So it says 3 times x, and the opposite of multiplication is division. So we're going to be dividing. And I know that 3 divided by 3 cancels out, so all that we're left with is x. And 21 divided by 3 is 7. So that's our answer. x equals 7. We can then check it just to see if that's the right answer. And let's do one more for good measure. Let's try... Let's try number 14. So it says negative 12 equals 4n. We've got to get the variable by itself. So let's divide both sides by 4 because we know that this is 4 times n and the opposite of multiplication is division. And the 4's cancel out, so all that we're left with is n. And negative 12 divided by 4 equals negative 3. So then if we were to check our solution, I know that if we did negative 12 equals 4 times negative 3. Does 4 times negative 3 give us negative 12? Yep, it sure does. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's do a few together. And I can't wait to see us mastering solving these equations using division.